Hey everybody, how you doing? AmpReparGuy.com. There's my phone number and my website. So I'm waiting on some parts here. It's Friday. Did as much as I can do. I'm waiting on the Hardbox kits and uh, some other parts. So over the years, I've replaced a lot of these air variables on the plate tune side. People uh, damage the plates. They need to be repaired or replaced. I used to rebuild them. Um, I stripped a lot of good air variables for parts. Um, I used to buy them from people, but you know they pretty much dried up. They're hard to find nowadays. This one is just so damaged. A lot of the plates, and pretty much every single plate has damage. So I want to show a hack here, a trick. Well, it's not a hack, but you know it's like a shortcut trick. Um, you can buy an air variable from Ameritron out of an Ameritron AL80B. Good people over there. Really nice, uh, really nice people. So, normally, like here's one out. I already ripped the, the plastic piece off. But the total capacitance is 250 puff on the stock Ameri uh, Heathkit one. And the AL80B, also 250 puff. Same plate spacing. So... Normally it comes with this plastic phenolic piece on the end. Like I said, I already pulled it off. So, the mounting, it's vibrating. <laughs> so the mounting for the hardware to hold it down is the exact same, as you can see. So I'll bolter it in. So what we're gonna do here is cut this little nipple off where that plastic piece was attached and use a shaft coupler slide it over you know this portion right here and then cut a shaft to extend out the factory hole the only other difference is this has 632 screws coming out the back and this one has larger uh, threaded screws so or studs, studs not screws so this bracket right here the holes would have to be enlarged so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that little nipple thing off and I'll I'll show you what it would look like so you made two versions the newer ones had you know the longer air variables with the uh, wider spacing rated for more voltage that's a different cap this this is for the shorter one as you can see right here so okay so I'm gonna cut that off and uh, this is a used one I'm waiting for a new one but uh, I was experimenting and came up with this idea so I'm going to uh, go ahead and do that and I'll be right back okay so Got down a piece of shaft material. It's coupled with the quarter inch shaft coupler. I enlarged the holes on the bracket, the stock bracket. These are just on here temporarily, the brass nuts. You'd want to add some internal tooth crush washers to this. So, it looks like. I will temporarily mount it in there so you can see what it looks like. Right back. Okay, it's installed. Nice and clean. Looks like the stock one, other than the shaft coupler. So, as you can see, the shaft protrudes from the front panel. Knob slips on, you tighten it up. So that little nub that the plastic phenolic piece slid on, you can use a hacksaw or a Dremel cutting wheel to get that off. But, you know, the plastic one, first off, it's not long enough. And second, you know, the force of the knob, you're turning it up, down, any 
any pressure on it would cause it to come off that spline piece that it's pressed onto. So you just cut that little piece off and use the coupler, cut a piece of shaft material and you have a nice capacitor for the plate tune side. Well, thanks for watching. There's my phone number again and my website. Take care. AmpReparGuide.com